And here we are back again with Len Kerman on the pad. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin, and so I've made some one improvement, and that's to use parachutes for descent instead of rocket power. Obviously there's some fuel savings there, and we're using the atmosphere's drag to, instead of the engines, to slow us down and hopefully land us. But I do have the rocket engines on uh, the stage before I eject the parachute, so I am assuming I'm going to have to use a little bit of rocket power so I don't have to ground so hard. And uh, so I'm going to go for you know a slightly ballistic trajectory with the first stage. And uh, excuse me for a second. And and then yeah, landing. And now I realized now I have an issue because I've got two kerbals over there and only one room for one more kerbal in here. Uh, maybe what I no well yeah anyway. Just assume that uh, they'll be able to cram two in. How about that? <laughs> in an emergency situation. Okay, let's try this now. Oh yeah, just a little bit of this thrust. In three, two. Okay, so that's kind of an initial ascent. Got up to 18,000. This, there's a good chance this thing, uh, probably not orbital. Now I think there's going to be slight issues too with uh, keeping this straight, but I think possibly might need to go a little further south just from what I'm seeing on here. And it is coming back a, a bit as well, so. Let's just go maybe this direction or so. Okay, that's good for that's good for the direction now. Which way am I thinking? Uh, this way, yeah, something like that. Okay, very little fuel left. <laughs> Actually, I think I kind of want to go anything this way a little bit. Whoa, we've lost control. <laughs> Shoot. Just wait till it swings back. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it. Not without burning a little bit of this fuel, which I <laughs> don't really have set up staging for. Well, can we go home from here? I guess that'd be a test. And will this thing even hold together when... <laughs> I probably need to give it a little bit of juice just before the parachutes come out. Um... <laughs> the bottom fell off. <laughs> Got a little choppy there, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, the bottom of the spacecraft <laughs> fell off because I have no struts in between them. I don't know what is going on with the choppiness here. Oh, my computer sucks. That could be part of it. Well, let's see here. Cut. It's a decoupler. Ah, decouple. <laughs> and let's see, decouple.
And decouple. Well, see the thing is, is I can keep trying to rescue, and I'm gonna probably end up with Kerbal's spewed <laughs> between here and and uh, home, or I can start ending some missions, and we can just pretend Lenfield's lost at sea or something. <laughs> like, oh, uh, we'll go with that. How about that? And so I'll meet you back with some design improvements. And I'm back with pretty much the same rocket, except for I've put arrow spikes on the bottom now, which are more efficient, although a little bit less thrust and no vectoring. So my it's going to have to be kind of a precision flight, I guess, is the issue. Uh, I want to get up fairly high, and and you know by the time these yeah I can't really control the ship once it starts kind of coming back in the atmosphere, I guess. So I want to go under power. I could put some wings on this, I guess, but yeah. I think I kind of like the design as is, so I'm going to try this here now. We've left a Kerbal, uh, can't see his name, Genfrey, there it is, yeah. Here, these are more efficient, so I should have a little bit longer burn time. That really wasn't the issue last time. I probably could have should, should have kept the same engine on, but anyway, let's try it again in three, two. Oh. Yeah, that'll be okay. What the crap? Where'd my... Oh, crap. <laughs> Arrow spikes? Where are you going? I don't know. I, I didn't get the staging right on this. Okay. So that worked. A little bit better this time. Now let's test if we can hit the ground at whatever, 10.2 meters per second. See, this is just a test flight. Yeah, that's it. I wasn't uh, actually trying to do the rescue. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing is sturdy. Now we can put the lights on. <laughs> Help with nighttime landings. Probably use up a lot of resources too. Yep. Oh well, they're pretty cool. Uh, let's see. No, oh, they don't fly off like they used to and explode. Oh, they're just going to lay there, are they? Okay. Hey, I did a takeoff and landing. And now the game has died. Something with fraps and, uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't start recording. Something going on with fraps and, uh, in this game. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hey, I took off and landed. I don't think this is going to have enough fuel to get back. Just thinking about it now. Maybe I'll do a complete redesign for fun as well as for 
actually finishing this project. Okay, welcome back to my attempt to save these poor guys over here. Uh, now we're going to combine the rocket world and the jet engine world, and we'll go with pure jet engines as a, uh, a source of power. And again, uh, I've actually kind of messed up here. Maybe I should fix it. I can make it a little bit better. It doesn't really matter. I think we can do it fine on here. This is a fuel tank here with well, fuel and oxidizer, and a good amount of it too. So 360 liquid fuel, whereas each of these only has 150, but I think we can get all the way to the island and back with just these two, there's four tanks. The four small kind of uh, just liquid fuel tanks. Anyway, uh, let's give that a try. I've also do not trust myself with landing yet, <laughs> especially with the jet engines, even harder because it doesn't have an instant response like the rocket uh, motors do. So I'm going to do. Oh, uh, but I didn't put struts on here. Uh, okay, I'll fix that. Okay, this is it. I think <laughs> we have struts on here. Uh, we have our two Kerbals waiting now, and so just Lenful uh, will head on over to the island. Ugh. Maybe. So yeah, this is the uh, Farnsworth Island Rescue Mark II. And let's see how it flies in 3, 2... Okay, here we go. That's this is one of the reasons why uh, why I'm doing it uh, with the parachutes because I don't think I can control uh, the throttle that finely. You can see the delay there? That was pretty crazy. But we don't need a lot of power, and we sure aren't going to use a lot of fuel. Uh, oh, intake air is one of the resources. Neat. So yeah, liquid fuel, tons, tons and tons and tons of liquid fuel. The bacon probe. Someday, maybe the bacon probe and the Manly Station will come together. So we have a uh, yeah. So I kind of wait till this lines up with uh, that's my idea. Wait till it lines up with the island. I shouldn't also be going maybe as high. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some horizontal distance out. I'd say that's probably no, oh, maybe a little bit back this way. Probably pretty good aim. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, of course, it doesn't look very good from here, but... <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've got a problem. I've got it, I've got it. Okay. Whew. <laughs> some aero aerodynamic forces got away from me there. <laughs> Maybe I should have put some control surfaces on this. But hey, look how nice and easy we got here with <laughs> ridiculous amounts of fuel left. That's all because, well, the game's balance is maybe a little bit part of it. And the fact that we don't have to carry uh, oxidizers with us. Yeah, I think these uh, 
I mean, look at the specific impulse is 2300. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. Something's something's not quite right. I don't think it should be. I don't even have any wings. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be. It shouldn't be this easy. Okay, so I'm just kind of keeping the throttle a little bit to keep us from uh, descending too fast. Uh, actually, I wanna, don't quite want to come down yet here. Okay. Okay. Look at that. We're on the island. Not too far from Neilbury. And uh, the other guy. <laughs> Name I forget again. Sigil, he'll uh, he'll come along. Danger of landing with these. I should have shut them off a little bit earlier. But we are landed, <laughs> plane, <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> one and a half kilometers. Uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, in a bit. Oh crap. Well, so, okay, I was coming back over here to think like, oh, maybe if I could get a Kerbal out and redo these parachutes, I could fly over to him. <laughs> and I switched back over on time accelerated and it it's, it seems to multiply gravity. Uh, it does some sort of weird, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to describe what it does, but it's, it's not a true time multiplier, I guess, anyway. Um, because gravity seems to be increased by four times <laughs> when, uh, on on the structure anyway, so it seems to have blown off an engine, which is disappointing because I did uh, I thought a pretty good job. I don't think I can fly like this. I think it's too unbalanced. I could always just cut this engine off. Oh, well, maybe we're not done yet. But what else has gone wrong here? Oh, this engine's off. Which engines are on? <laughs> just this one. One engine. Hmm. There we go. Successfully got rid of all the engines. Test the abort system. Abort system works. <laughs> Crap. Well, is it time to? Uh, no, I mean this worked well. There's no, no no time to give up necessarily, but I know I could have done it. That was a, a silly mistake with the game physics that screwed that up. Uh, hmm. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll think about whether to continue with this or not. Let me know if you want to see these guys get rescued or not, or if you want me to head on to interplanetary, more interesting things like a moon base or something like that. Minmus base, actually, is what I'm thinking. Minmus is a little more interesting to me than the moon for some reason. I don't know. So that sounds good to me. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Martin. I'll see you soon.